A chart is a visual representation of data that is used to convey information in an easy to understand and attractive manner. Different types of charts are used to represent data in different ways. The type of chart you create depends on the type of data you are charting. Excel 2010 can produce 14 standard types of graphs and charts with many different subtypes for each standard type. In addition, Excel includes professionally designed built-in custom charts that include additional formatting and chart refinements. The basic chart types are area charts, bar charts, column charts, line charts, pie charts, donut charts, radar charts, XY charts, surface charts, bubble charts, and stock charts. Let's get started creating a chart. The first chart we're going to do is we're going to create a single data series chart. Creating charts are fairly simple. The key to creating a good chart is knowing what data to select. We have an example here of doggy daycare and we have line item expenses and we have store locations and we have totals per line item and total expenses per store. What we're going to do is we're going to create a column chart of our total expenses per store. So what we want to do is we want to select the store locations to be our x-axis label and then we're going to select the total expenses for the, for the data that we're going to graph and we're going to select the total to be our legend. Okay, so we're going to select our data. First our x-axis data labels. And then I'm going to hold down the control key and select my totals. Then I'm going to come up to the insert tab and I'm going to drop down the column drop down button and it's going to give me access to the various sub chart types for a column chart. And I'm going to choose the 3D column. And right away it gives me my chart. Pretty simple. Now that we have our chart created now we can do some manipulation of the chart. We can size it and move it. Notice when I put my mouse over the border I can click and move my chart around on my spreadsheet. If I grab the corners notice how the mouse has a different different look to it. It has the diagonal arrows bi-directional. I could click, hold, and drag and it'll resize the chart. You can also change the chart layout and the chart styles. A chart layout is a predefined set of chart elements that can be quickly applied to a chart. Elements include chart titles, a legend, a data table, or data labels. The yellow, these elements are displayed in a specific arrangement in the chart. Each chart type includes a variety of layouts. Chart styles is a predefined set of chart formats that can be quickly applied to a chart. The available chart styles are based on the do document theme that has been applied. This ensures that the formats you apply to the chart will coordinate with the worksheet formatting. You can find the chart layouts and the chart styles under the design tab under chart tools. As I drop down the arrow, I can choose different styles. Or I can choose different layouts. Also under Chart Tools, there's a Layout tab. 
In the Layout tab, we can modify our chart title, access titles, the legend. We can apply data labels in a data table, among other things. Let's go ahead and make some changes to our chart. I can change the chart title by selecting it, just like I would select any heading in Word or a label, descriptive label in Excel, and then change it. Just start typing. I can change the location of the legend. I can change the data labels to show data labels for each of the columns, showing the total dollar amount per column. I can show the data table of uh, the actual detail that goes into making this chart. Having both of these and down here is a little redundant so I'm going to change the data labels to not show. I can even add a title below the x-axis There are so many formatting and design changes that you can make to a chart and we can uh, spend a lot of time on this. Uh, but the last thing I want to go over for this particular chart is uh, let's say we want to take this chart and move it to its own sheet instead of being part of um, the spreadsheet, be on the same sheet as the spreadsheet for the yearly expenses. What I can do is I can move it to its own sheet by going to design, clicking on the move chart button, and then choosing new sheet, and I could give it a label called, we'll call it uh, yearly expenses. And then click OK. And then notice down here we got a new sheet called yearly expenses and the chart takes up its own sheet. In this example we're going to create a multiple data series chart. The last chart we discussed and went over compared the different stores with their total yearly expenses. In this chart, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the different stores and all their line item expenses. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the data that we want to create a chart with. So I'm going to start in A4 and select the data all the way down to D10, basically including the line items and the store locations and all the, the amounts for the line item expenses. Now that we have selected the data, we're going to come up and click on Insert tab, and we're going to create a column chart. Again, going with the 3D column. And just like that, we have a chart. The great thing about creating a multiple data series chart is we're able to compare the light items for say dog food with how, how well it did with compared to the other stores. And we can see trends in the data, what where our expenses are more in one store versus another store. So those are the be benefits of 
uh, creating a multi data series chart. After you've created your chart, you might look at it and say, well, maybe I want a different type of chart. And you don't have to go through the, the whole thing just to change the chart, chart type. After it's been created, if you go up to the button, change chart type, uh, you can choose any other different type of chart that you want. Just click on the style and click OK and it immediately changes it. Another good thing about creating charts in Excel is once you've created the chart, the chart is actually linked to the data. So anytime you need to change the data in your spreadsheet, it's going to automatically reflect in the chart. Let's say for example on the east side the electricity expense um, it had a dramatic increase in that particular line item expense and goes to six thousand. We'll say eight thousand just so it grabs our attention better. As soon as I hit enter I want you to pay particular attention to electricity for east side which pay attention to the blue color for electricity on the east side store. Okay, I'm going to hit enter and you can see the chart automatically reflects the increase in electricity. So you don't have to create a new chart after the data has been updated. 